The USS Plunger, SS-2, was an early U.S. Navy submarine and the lead vessel of her class, later renamed A-1. Constructed at Crescent Shipyard in New Jersey, she was laid down on May 21, 1901, launched on February 1, 1902, and commissioned on September 19, 1903. Initially stationed at the Naval Torpedo Station in Newport, Rhode Island, the plunger was instrumental in torpedo experiments and crew training. A significant event in the plunger's history occurred in August 1905, when she traveled to New York City for trials. President Theodore Roosevelt boarded the submarine, participating in dives to demonstrate his support for naval innovation and share in the risks faced by sailors. The plunger was decommissioned on November 3, 1905, but recommissioned on February 23, 1907. Chester Nimitz, who would become a fleet admiral, took command on May 3, 1909, describing early submarines as a mix of fantasy and practicality. Under his command, the plunger participated in the Hudson Fulton celebrations in September 1909. The submarine was later reassigned to the Charleston Navy Yard. On November 17, 1911, the plunger was renamed A-1. She was stricken from the Naval Vessel Register on February 24, 1913, and designated as an experimental target by 1916. The vessel sank near New Suffolk, Massachusetts on March 22, 1918, but was raised and taken to the Salvage Diving School in Connecticut. Finally, the A-1 was sold for scrap on January 26, 1922.